Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another mini-sode on the Conversations with Coaches podcast feed. Um, this is my little lessons series that I've been running. I'm really, I'm kind of enjoying it. Well, not kind of, I am thoroughly enjoying it. Um, mostly because it's just a chance for me to riff for a few minutes on some of the things that have just, I've been, my cup has been so filled up by so many, like getting to talk to so many different kinds of coaches. It's nice to be able to to distribute that and to share it <laughs> a little bit. You know, you can't, can't let your cup get too full. My cup overfloweth as the saying might go. Um, so my lesson for today, this is actually a quote or it's based on a quote that has lived up on my whiteboard for a while. I have a little whiteboard in my office, nothing too dramatic. Although, I, you know, if I could, I'd build my walls out of whiteboards. I just love it. Um, being able to get my thoughts out of my brain and onto something very impermanent is always just, it's very, <laughs> it's very delightful. Um, but I do, I always keep a small, well, relatively small area on my whiteboard dedicated to just things I need to see, things that inspire me, things that, just are necessary, like reminders or exhortations or people, something that people just said to me that just stuck with me or smacked me in the forehead and just made me think and continue to make me think. And so I want to have it someplace where I'm going to see it on a regular basis. And this quote's been living up there for a while. I clean my, clean my whiteboard off every now and again, and I'll just, you know, kind of get rid of the stuff that either is, has lapse a little bit in potency for me or is just maybe it's just not quite the right time for it, or I'm just cycling it out but there's there are certain things that just they get rewritten up there after I clean off the whiteboard and this has been one of them for a while now I'll read the quote out and it's the quote pretty much contains all the wisdom in it and so I won't say much beyond that but this is something that I feel like has has revealed itself through my conversations with coaches so frequently um that it's not only a good reminder for me, it really is a good articulation of one of what I think is the core values of coaching. So after all that preamble, I should just read the quote at this point, right? So the quote is, and I forget who to attribute it to. I found numerous, I found a number of different sources for it. So I just, I'll just leave the quote here. Uh, quote, we seldom rise to the level of our expectations, but rather fall to the level of our training. This it's something I love, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sharing it with you. Expectations, learning to keep my expectations appropriately high has been its own journey for me. Um, a lot of times, a lot of our self-talk can be a little negative. Um, and sometimes, maybe even often, um, there's a temptation, I know I've fallen prey to, to lower my expectations in order to, almost like bracing for impact, or to feel less disappointment when those when expectations might not come through, sort of like as a as a pre coping mechanism. We this is not unpack Kevin's deep internal issues podcast. <laughs> that would be a much longer episode. <laughs> but still, I have a, I had, I know some of you struggle with this, keeping expectations at their appropriate level, high, not sky high, not unreasonable, but keeping them high. And then right along with that, and it's one of the things I love about this quote so much and why I keep it, you know, close to my heart and right up on the whiteboard is that we seldom, we seldom rise to the level of our expectations, but rather fall to the level of our training. It's not just about managing your expectations and keeping them up what I like to think of as appropriately high, but also remembering to do the work, <laughs> the act, like the actual work, sometimes the physical work, um, but just remember to do the work, to do the training, to not just like, you know, grit your teeth and like, you know, put your head down and grind through it to, to meet your goals. It's not always about that. It's about acquiring the skills, acquiring the techniques, learning how to meet those appropriately high expectations and maybe even exceed them. Um, so, again, yeah, just that reminder that it's not just about acquiring skills or doing the training or getting education you know i'm not just going to stack degrees and certifications and yada 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 and have all these books that i've read on my shelf that have taught me all these things it's not just the training and it's not just the expectation setting it is both always and that's why i love this quote that's why i'm sharing it with you because i feel like that expresses very to me very succinctly and very well one of the intrinsic values of coaching is that it teaches you how to understand and set your expectations and then gives you the opportunity to find the skills, the training, the strategies, the tactics, the techniques in order to 
meet those expectations. And then once you've met them, set new ones. And on and on we go joyfully on this journey together. At least that's the that's the idea. So that's my lesson. A little bit more, little, little, maybe a little bit inspirational. But you know, it's not it's not it's not all <laughs> it's it's not all strategies and tactics. Sometimes it's just reflection on quite frankly, some of the things that get me out of bed in the morning and move me and and drive and stoke my passions. And I, I feel like a lot of you who are listening are the same. Um, at least the ones I've heard. The one the ones of you I've heard from. So anyway, that's my lesson for the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Um, I enjoy this quite a bit. I really hope you do too. Um, if you have anything that you would like me to speak on, or if you would like to speak to me about, um, whether you've been a guest on this podcast before or not, um, I love, the only thing that I, I, I kind of keep this to is I like keeping to the relatively short form podcast episodes. I just feel like they're so much more consumable. And that's really the point is to get these out. I don't want someone to look at a runtime on a podcast and see a hundred minutes and be like, um, no, I don't have time for that. I like keeping these short and sweet. <laughs> sweet as in very sweet to hear, sweet, useful. Um, so yeah, if you have anything you want to talk about or you want me to talk about, just let me know. Shoot me an email. Like, let's, let's get something on the calendar if you want to talk about it together for the pod. I clearly love doing this pod, whether it's just me sharing some of the lessons I've learned from all of you and all of the coaches I've gotten to talk to, or just talking to coaches and just letting them go for hopefully 15-ish minutes. Every once in a while, it goes a little bit longer than that. I, I'm, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Um, but thank you all for listening. Thank you for caring. Thank you for coaching if you're a coach. Thank you for being coached if you've been coached. Um, and yeah, let's do this again real soon.